the growth of the LNG industry has changed the game. We've gone from being a collection of regional markets to being an increasingly global one. The connection between North America, Europe, Asia has grown stronger, and that's meant that the price dynamics between those regions have changed as well. We are one of the largest uh, utilities in Europe. We are operating power and gas stations and nuclear power stations. We have as well gas storage, a large gas portfolio. Our system landscape had a lot of legacy components. Uh, data was scattered throughout all of those systems. I think we have more than 190 systems. We were thinking what is the best uh, fit for the future and uh, we want to have a scalable system and we don't want to be limited. The logical decision was then to go to the public cloud. The architecture of our platform is um, very simple. We're using real-time big data from talent, um, including the talent data catalog. For storing our data, we're using Microsoft, um, Azure and Snowflake. And for analytics of data, we're using Tableau. With Data Lake, we get the opportunity to construct really the full flow from the, the pre-deal analysis, the conclusion and recording of the trade, to actually the management of all the, the post-trade uh, work that needs to be done to ensure that we actually are giving the clients the service they're looking for. Market analytics is the prerequisite ingredient. So my team is responsible to, to forecast all the markets Uniper is active in, what the price of the power market will be in the next hour, but at the same time we're also doing long-term scenarios. We like to basically look at as everything we can get, from how much rain is going down in locations of the world, how many ships are waiting at ports of the world to unload their cargoes, to how high are the coal stockpiles at power plants in, in various parts of the world. And we nowadays, we can basically approach any meeting without preparation. By definition, we are prepared. Everything's there. Very important is actually understanding the power demands. We need to understand how much gas Asia will take, how much gas the US uh, can deliver, how the supply and demand behaves in Europe. So you need the best available data. Because you set your thresholds, you want to get into a position at a certain price. And if you reach a price, you have to be fast. There's a window of opportunity and you have to get into this window of opportunity. So when the traders actually want uh, that an asset produces, the asset needs to be there. We have coal power plants, gas power plants, we have uh, hydro. Nowadays that the power plants, the running regime has changed, so it goes up and down, up and down. That stresses the component more. We have used the data that comes from the IoT sensors. We combine that with the data from the trading people and then we can derive how much time is actually remaining in a certain component in lifetime. Post-trade, on conclusion of a deal, that gives us a collection of obligations, whether it's settlement of cash, whether it's delivery of commodity. The role of data post-trade is in my opinion, just as important as the role of data pre-trade. Pre-trade is how we make sure that we enter into deals that we're, we're happy or good. Post-trade is how we basically make sure that we stay safe and we meet our counterparty's expectations, saving our reputation and keeping our balance sheet healthy. We are at the beginning of the journey. We don't have to be afraid to come to this petabyte size because we know that we have the best technology on our platform working. Our cost for data integration at least by more than 80%. So in the past, it usually took one or two months to get the database connected. Today, we do this in days or even hours. If you look at the 2018, after six months, we covered our cost, which means we are profitable.